How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 6 in my QBasic tutorial series. Now um, in this video we're going to be going over sleeping. So inside QB64, I've already launched it, I've created this file called sleep.boss and yeah let's just get started. What is sleeping? It's pausing your program for an allotted amount of time. And why would you want to do this? Well just say you're printing out a series of messages you might want to print one out, then pause your program before printing out the next message. You know, if you print out three messages right in a row, the user could get overwhelmed by text. They could get lost where they are, like, uh, you know, which line they were on. So those pause gives the reader time to read one line before you send them a next one. So I'm just going to first print out. Okay. There. I'm going to first print out three messages so hello world and then we're gonna print out I am Adam and then finally print out and I am 19 so there we go that's our program right now let's save it and let's run it So we get these three messages printed out, but it's like all at once. Now this isn't going to be too overwhelming, obviously, to someone. But if they were longer strings, um, then it could get a little bit more overwhelming, a lot more to read. So to make this more like a program or more like a game, where it seems like it's, you know, printing out stuff as they're finishing, you kind of get a good time. You read the message and figure out how long it takes you to read, and then you uh, sleep it for that long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pauses after hello world and then I am Adam. We don't have to put one after print obviously because there's nothing following that. So to sleep, we start the line by typing sleep, all capital letters. Oops, it's not supposed to be a W, sleep. And then we say how many times in seconds we want to pause our program for. So I'm going to put one, so sleep one. And I'm going to put a comment here just to say pauses program for one second now I'm just gonna copy this line here and I'm going to paste it here so now we have two sleeps and let's run this program now hello world I am Adam and I am 19 so those sleeps work now just say you had it for a thousand and you click start well then, it's going to take a long time to go through a thousand seconds. If the user wanted to continue and they were done, they can just hit enter. So you can maybe mention that in a print message. If you want to continue, hit enter. So when I hit enter there, it uh, printed out the next line. It continued on. And then it, in one second, it printed out the uh, NIM19 message again. So that is how we sleep a program. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.